Let's talk shop, let's chop chop and give a little real talk, period. And today I want to talk about another pearl of wisdom from the great Quali. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let us all sit at the feet of this uh, modern day Socrates and partake in the vast ocean of knowledge and wisdom and intellect as we glean all that we can in hopes to be even a tenth, a tenth of this well-known Scholar. Oh, so <laughs> without further ado, our wise teacher, our great and wise teacher states, pro-blackness is about equality. Pro-whiteness is about Nazi and KKK expletive. Yes! First off, this intellectually challenged segregationist had the nerve to make a picture post, a picture post regarding the other ignorance that comes out of that hole in his freaking face. <sighs> Promoting something that is, uh, needless to say, racially divisive and makes about as much sense as a two-inch dipstick. Yeah. So, can I break bread on this, please? Can, can I break bread, y'all? I'm going to do it whether you like it or not. Talib, being pro your own heritage is not a bad thing. I'm not going to say anything is bad about that. You know, it's not bad regardless of the colors uh, uh heritage, right? But I will say this. If being pro-black or pro-white means being anti other colors or creeds, then you are doing pro being your own race wrong, much less being a decent human being wrong. Your pro blackness should not equate to being anti white, okay? Being pro white is about being proud of one's heritage and being proud of the accomplishments uh, accompanied being, you know, that race of people. Um, you know, just like uh, us blacks are proud of what we brought to the table as far as our culture, intellect, uh, uh, innovations, etc. Same with Latinos, you know, same with Asians, you know. Um, I mean, it's just that simple. Loving the skin that you're in is never a bad thing, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. But loving the skin you're in so much that it amounts to thinking that you are superior to all others as you denigrate other races, okay, now, now that's a problem, as well as claiming that the skin color of another race amounts to nothing more than the worst aspects, the worst traits, uh, uh, the worst attributes of their race, then that's when I got to call you out on your, on your racism. I mean, I guess that means then, right? I suppose that means the rest of the world can say that being pro-black or, or pro-blackness is about the gangster mentality and, 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 and thuggery and robbing and shooting and looting and killing and all that type of stuff, right? How about fatherless homes? You know, being pro-black is all about fatherless homes, all about lawlessness, all about high illiteracy rates, huh? Or maybe a, a, a trapping on the block or, 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 or becoming a hood star, you know, as that old song back in the day, you know, get a superstar, you know? Is that what we are as black culture? Would you like to be defined by the worst attributes of our culture? Or would you rather be known by the fact that we are fiercely passionate and resilient? We are a fiercely passionate and resilient people who have come to overcome insurmountable odds that uh, further strengthened our resolve to push for America, get its act together. That's what we did. We pushed for America to get its act together and change from within. In which the um, in which the best of us, right, the best of the black culture, the best of those within black culture, uh, uh, have paved the way for us to be trailblazers in this culture and in society, right? I mean, that's what we should be remembered for, right? That's what we should be remembered for, and 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 just like whites should be remembered for and and known for their steadfast love and patriotism. Uh, to establish America, to protect America, and to advance America with their own lives when necessary, right? Because that's what they did, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's fantastic. A show of patriotism is a great thing. You know, every race, every color, every creed in America has a part to play in the formation of America. We all know that, of which many of our... Um, 
or paths converge when it comes to uh, America, especially when uh, tragedy strikes, right? As we all are Americans first before we are different color factions. Celebrating our uniqueness is a beautiful thing, ladies and gentlemen. It really is. Just like celebrating the uniqueness of, uh, of, 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 you know, two different people within a relationship is beautiful as well. But if one person within that relationship and within that union just, uh, uh, deems themselves to be more important than the other and then deems their partner's role to be the antithesis of, of, of what it takes to make a relationship work or, or what it takes to make a relationship succeed, then discord will soon follow, as we all know, right? And and the union will split. The, the relationship will break apart. But the same thing applies when it comes to America. You know, uh, Talib, if you keep spouting this pro-black this and anti-white that, then you and your walking dead-like throng of zombie land parody followers will continue to bring about discord, which will end in the splitting of our beloved union instead of protecting uh, uh, the advancement of our more perfect union, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I have said this once before in this video, and I'm going to repeat it. I'm going to say it again for those in the bleachers in the nosebleed section that didn't hear me the first time, okay? By all means, be pro your own race. There is nothing wrong with that. But if being pro your own race means you've got to be anti other races, if being pro-black means you got to be anti-white, if being pro-white means you got to be anti-black, then you are doing this whole American experiment wrong. You are doing being a decent human being wrong, okay? And for the love of all things holy, stop listening to Talib. His intellectual currency, ladies and gentlemen, is about as comparable as being the richest man in Monopoly. Yeah? Do not apply, ladies and gentlemen. Do not apply his worthless, morally bankrupt, game-like mentality to real life. Because I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, his currency does not translate to actual real-world intelligence. And that, my people. It's some real talk, period. Ah, anyways, what do you think? What do you think? Should there uh, be different standards in celebrating a particular race's accomplishments? Or should we all in this great melting pot called America be celebrated equally <laughs> for what we have brought to, you know, what we brought to the table in the creation of America, in, in creation of this great place, in creation to where we live, in creation of this country. Let me know in the comment section. Anyways, that's all I have for now. Stay tuned for more exclusive content because I always have more real talk to give you. Until next time.